Hey loves, welcome back to the channel. So I'm here with another Boohoo try on haul. Yes, this video is sponsored by Boohoo. As you know, I did my first sponsored video with them about, I'll say two, three months ago, but I've been shopping at Boohoo way before they sponsored me. So as you know, I love this brand and I even shop there, you know, just when I'm shopping period. It's in my top, I guess, five stores. So I do have all the links to the clothes I will show you in the description. So check that out. And I don't know why I'm doing that. I'll leave the sizes and the uh, prices on the screen for you. As far as the prices, almost everything on Boohoo was under 100 I think the highest price items I saw were maybe like outerwear and shoes. Like, honestly, I've never spent more than, I'll say, even 50 bucks on something. So it's pretty affordable and it's trendy. And I think you can find something for all flavors, like no matter what you like. Um, and also... I'll have a link down below where you can enter to win a $500 Boohoo wardrobe. I believe they run this contest multiple times a year because I feel like the one I've done like two, three months ago has already ended and they started a new giveaway or what do you call it, like a sweepstakes type of thing. So let's go ahead and jump right into this haul. I don't want to blabber on too much because I know you guys have been waiting for a try on haul. So I'll start with accessories first and... Let's see what we have here. The first thing I picked up was this hat. It's called the Aaron Plain Cap. And it's really simple and it's just a black hat. But it has like this white line around the trim or the brim of the hat. And yeah, it just looks like that. It's adjustable with the Velcro strap. So I believe it'll fit um, some big heads. It's big head friendly because I'm like 24, 25 inches as far as my head. And it has this paper in it. A lot of people don't take this paper out because they like to keep the shape. But I take the paper out because it's annoying. And for me, I like inexpensive hats because I wear makeup. And I get makeup on every single hat I wear. Even if I don't even put makeup on my forehead because I know I'm wearing a hat. It's like it gets there anyway. But um, for the most part, sometimes I do wear hats without makeup because it's my off day, I guess. So then next and then but no i have these shoes they came in a box and i don't oh they do have a name okay the molly peak toe platform heel and i got it in navy and i got a uk size 7 which is a us 9 that used to confuse me when shopping for shoes because i was like oh my gosh they sent me a 7 i needed a 9 but no <laughs> it was really just uk sizing so they look like this and this is perfect for if you're just not really good with walking in heels, if you just want more comfort, um, it looks like it's wide foot friendly and it has this little dainty strap around the ankle. And as you guys know, I sprained my ankle so um, it's a little bit harder for me to wear certain heels. But I think this block heel right here and it's a lower heel is the perfect heel for me. Um, and I don't know really how I'm going to pair this but I think this is really cute. Like I just fell in love with it and I don't even have that much navy in my closet so I'm like what am I gonna wear this with but anyways yeah it's like this crushed velvet it's really soft and it looks really comfortable to walk in and it has like a little pattern in here so that's that so the next shoe and I felt like a lot of these items were transitional and as you'll see I'll talk about that later from basically the summer to the fall and being that it's an open toe and it's like a sandal type of heel I thought that other shoe would be perfect but um yeah to transition and then the color was like fallish winterish and I don't know how to open this box it's a Vanessa wide fit peep toe sock boot I love this heel or this booty and I definitely feel like it's transitional from the summer to the fall because of the color one. And then it's still peep toe and you still have your little ankle, not ankle, but the heel of your foot out. But um, this also is a chunky heel. It's a stacked heel. And I think it's about maybe two and a half, three inches overall. But this part right here will give you support. And then it's just this type of shoe right here is really supportive. I feel like these booties are more supportive than like a sandal or a strappy 
yeah, a strappy sandal, a strappy heel, like those dainty shoes. Um, just because you have so much right here and it's like enclosing your whole foot. So, you know, you're not really popping out anywhere and it's not really hard to walk in. So these are really what I prefer, booties and low chunky heels. And this does stretch a little bit. As you can see, and it does say wide fit. So within this area, you should have more room. And that's it for shoes. I saw some sneakers on there that I think I'm going to go get. Um, but let's get into the purses. So the first purse is this one right here. I don't know if it has a name. Oh, it does. Okay. So this is the Maria Crush Velvet Chain Crossbody Bag. And it's gray and it comes in one size. And it just looks like this. I just really like the texture of the Crush Velvet. I love the feel of it. Like, overall, I feel like it's a nice little bag. It's smaller than what I thought it would be, though. Like, honestly, I don't really wear small bags. I need to get into the habit. Because when you have a big purse, you just stuff everything in there. But for classes, I definitely need a big purse. So for Mondays and Wednesdays. Okay, I'm off topic. <laughs> but, um, yeah, that's this bag. It's just a little dainty. It reminds me of, like, a bucket bag. Because, you know, this is kind of how they are. Um, so, yeah. Let me show you guys the inside. It does have like a zipper. And for it to be like a smaller bag, it's really spacious on the inside. And you probably can't tell, but it has a lot of space. So, that's that. And lastly, it has like a button closure. Silver button. This is one of my absolute favorite bags from Boohoo. And I love getting purchased from Boohoo. I think I have, I purchased about five from there already. This is the Nicole Floral Patch Chain Trim Cross Body Bag. It's a long name. But it's just this. I felt like it was so freaking cute. And I got it specifically because I bought like some red pieces, some floral embroidered pieces, black. So um, I definitely got this to complement with the clothes that I got. And you'll see that in a minute. So yeah, this is it. And I love the gold. I love gold. But I love the gold chain trim right here. And then it has the long gold string or strap. And then when you open it, of, of course, the floral embroidery. Then when you open it, just a gold button. And then it's really structured, too. And that's what I like about it. It's super structured. And then on the inside, it's just like that. You have a zipper compartment, and that's it. Even without the paper inside, it's still structured. So, yeah, that's that bag. One of my favorite pieces ever from Boohoo is this bag right here. And definitely for the fall. So, let's hop into the clothes. And I'll just do them in the order that I tried them on. So, this first thing here is the Bethany Short and Blazer Cohort set. And I got it in a UK24, US20. And it just looks like that. Or maybe it's a, yeah, it's a UK24 US 20. So this is what it looks like. I'll be trying it on like over here somewhere. So let me step over. Um, I love this red. It's like a really saturated red. And it just looks really nice on my skin tone and on, I think, any skin color any skin cone <laughs> any skin tone can really pull off like a nice red like this I think red is for so many women like it's beautiful like red is so universal and it's my favorite color so yeah the shorts now with this I felt like it could have been a little more structured because um it really doesn't hold you in too well and I'm really not sure like a lot of people like to wear shapewear as you know I don't try on my clothes with shapewear so um yeah um, I just felt like if it was thicker, you know, you would have a little more, um, support, but it is like really thin and like really, I guess not dainty, but just really loose, you know, um, the blazer, even if the blazer was just a little more structured, I think it'll, you know, cinched in at the waist a little bit, gave you a little shoulder padding. I think it will be nicer and it'll be more effective, but nonetheless, I do like this. And it is definitely transitional. Like, we just had like a 65, 70 degree day. And this would have been perfect. Some shorts and then you have like still a jacket. So, it's cool but not, you know, too cold outside. Um, but yeah, that's this one. I like the way it fits. But like I said, I'm not really a shorts girl. So, if I was to wear shorts, I would want a little more structure. 
So then the next thing is this bralette. I already have this. I purchased it already. And um, again, it's a US 20, UK 24. The name of it is the Maya or Mia Strappy Lace Detail Bralette. The only thing with this is a lot of women probably don't really care for the fact that it's super see-through. Like everything is completely see-through. Like not even your nipples are covered. But me... I don't care. <laughs> but no, seriously. Um, I just got it again so I can link it below for you guys because a lot of people ask about it in my plus size date lookbook video. So yeah, that's where I got the bralette from. It's from Boohoo and I'll leave the link below because I absolutely love this. And if they had every single color, I would get every color because I'm just that scandalous. But no. <laughs> um, the next thing is, okay, trying to pull my wig off. All right, hanger. So the next thing I have are these uh, kind of checkered pants. Not really a plaid, but I guess. It's called the Anya Gangham or, yeah, Gangham print trouser. I probably butchered that, but this is what it looks like. I love the pleat and details around the waist. I love the waistband. It's super thick um, and structured. I love the length it came to. It came all the way down to my ankles. I love the fit. Like <laughs> these, I love everything about these pants. And they have pockets, so... That's just perfect. To go with that, I paired this red top. And I got this. This is the only thing I got in uh 18 or a 16. I got this in a 16. No, I got it in an 18. A UK 22 US 18. And this is the Orla Boxy Tee. And I got it in red because, again, one of my favorite colors. And definitely a great transition into the fall and it just matched so well with those plaid pants so yeah and I also was looking for the red to go with that um, embroidered floral bag that I have so that's this top it's just a little loose tee um I wore it without a bra and a try on but it really doesn't have that support so in real life I would probably wear it who am I kidding I don't like bras but um, I might wear it with like a bralette or a bra under it but um yeah that's that comes up pretty a decent length it's a scoop neck and yeah I don't really know why I opted to get it in a smaller size one size smaller probably because I don't know maybe I thought it would run big maybe that was the only size left so I also paired with that red shirt was these um like kind of jogger pants they're just a black simple pant um, and these are called the Formal Pleated Cuff Trouser. Got it in a UK 24, US 20. Um, it's just a black trouser. And I always look for black trousers because it's easy to pair crop tops and just regular tops. Everything blazers with them. Um, the only thing is the ankle is like super thick and it's a little tight. So I don't really know about this one. But um, yeah, you'll probably see when I... Put it on like it gathers a lot and it's super tight down here after I sprain my ankle it's bigger than my left one so um the tightness of the trouser at the bottom really doesn't work for me so um it has pockets it has a thicker waistband probably like one of those that might fold over but I'm not really sure it seems pretty secure but that's that trouser and then one of my other favorite things well the last two things are some favorites. So this is the Runa Crushed Velvet T-shirt. And it is full length, but I would love it to be a crop top. And it's just this black crushed velvet. And as you can see, I'm here for the crushed velvet. I think it's a perfect transition into the fall, into the winter. Um, I think it's a little bit too heavy for the spring um, and the beginning of summer. But I think when you're transitioning... This is perfect because it's a little bit heavier. It has some weight to it. So, like I said, on that 65 degree day that we just had, this would have definitely been an option. And it's full length, but I'll probably, like, turn it up, you know, to make it crop. Or just tuck it into, like, a skirt or something. So, that's this one. And I paired it with these trousers. And this is just a floral embroidered trouser. Similar to the other black trouser, but this one doesn't have the cuffed bottom and it just feels way more comfortable. These also have pockets. That's what I like about Boohoo. They have most of their things are stretch material and that velvet shirt stretched a little bit, but not too much. 
but for the most part everything else stretched tremendously like it has a lot of stretch so that's one thing i do love about boohoo they take into consideration being comfortable you know you're not in just tight structured you know clothes that don't have any you know flexibility so that's one thing i do love about boohoo as i said the stretch um but yeah this is just the floral embroidered trouser and i really love these and i bought some from another company like um i'll say a couple months ago but i got it in the wrong size so i was like damn and when i went back to get it i was like hmm not really sure if it'll fit but then i saw these on boohoo and i was like oh i'm here I'm here. I got it. <laughs> so anyways, that's everything I got from Boohoo. I hope you guys enjoyed. I have so many more hauls to come for you. As I said in the beginning, this video was sponsored by Boohoo. Um, most of the items are super affordable and under 100 bucks. Like I said, mostly everything I got was probably under $50 ever, like ever shopping at Boohoo. The only things that run me more money is like the purses or the shoes um, or the cohort sets. Also... Um, the links for the items will be in the description, and I think that's everything that I need to mention. I have a 50% off code that I'll leave in the description as well as the link so you can enter for the $500 Boohoo giveaway. So thank you guys so much for joining. I know you've been waiting for a try-on haul, and here you go. <laughs> I have so many more to do, and I hope you enjoy.